Love. Hello. I have a question. I have an answer. Welcome back. Uh, yes. <laughs> question. You know, there is a um, US election is upcoming um, soon. 5th of November. I don't know when, but it's coming. Who do you think should win? Who do I think should win? Like, who would I like to win? No, sorry. Who do you think will win? They're both pretty questionable, but I think Trump is probably more likely to win. The polls at the moment, we're filming in, in August, this is August, is, says that she's ahead, but... She's who? Oh, sorry. Kamala Harris is ahead by a bit uh, in the states that matter. And that's usually, you know, the deciding thing. But it's not November yet. It's... It's just three, three months, isn't it? Uh, two. Two or something. Two and a bit, yeah. Mm. So it, it seems like that's a lot of time for, uh, you know, they need to have a debate. And if they have a debate, I mean, he, he debates and he sounds like a... He sounds old. He rambles and he says silly nonsense and he says things that aren't accurate and his supporters don't care. So that, so obviously him doing that isn't going to impact his polls negatively. Um, but she hasn't really been challenged on her policy position yet. Like she's the vice president, so what she's is she, why is she, what, what can she possibly propose that's not what's already going on? Um, if that's the case, then all of Trump's attacks against Biden are kind of relevant against her, except for the being a, a thousand years old thing. Uh, but at the same time, her whatever differences she has between herself and Biden, I mean, the principal attack he can use is, well, why aren't you doing that now? You know, you're, you're second in charge. Why, why isn't that your current policy? And then there's the border issue, which, you know, he's, uh, he's got a lot in his arsenal on that account. And apparently the people trust him more on the economy which they probably shouldn't, but um, I guess he serves some sectors of the economy, whereas, you know, the Democrats serve others. So, yeah, I feel like once her, once she has to actually put policy forward, which she hasn't really yet, she's going to drop in the polls. It'll probably even out. If you put money on it, you know, it'll go either way. I'm not brave enough to do that at the moment. And, uh, yeah. It's, I'd say it's like 49-41. I wouldn't say that like he's definitely going to win, but I think he might. More likely than not. Really? So you, you, th you think, mm. you think he might win, but I have the feeling that Kamala will win because she's a woman and they might want to try a new... Wait a second. They might want to try a new, like, a woman president. And she seems pretty, pretty, like, relaxed and, you know, she's just, like, having fun, doing some rallies and whatsoever. Like, she's always, like, smiling and laughing and she's very gentle. And so many celebrities endorse her and clear. I've seen one time, was it? Hillary, mm -hmm. Hillary, Hillary Clinton. That's the one. Yes, so she endorsed her as well, and actually, there was. It's more like about a woman. A woman became a president. A woman, a woman who started voting. Something, something. Blah blah blah. That's just the portion I have watched. But I feel like. I feel like. The percentage. I mean the the. Think flip. When variety Trump, what I was trying to say, when Trump has been assassinated, <laughs> and someone shot at him. Sorry. He, he certainly wouldn't win if he was assassinated. Yeah. When when Trump has been attempted, be, yeah, attempted assassination, then 
he became like the news everywhere and then it's like I think it helps his campaign he was on top of the poll and then when Biden decided to withdraw his candidacy mm -hmm. as a president mm -hmm. is the correct term and then Camilla has been endorsed and replies to Biden then everything just all about their what do you call their team their mm -hmm. party like it's all about Kamala and and Trump news wasn't really very much and I feel like it was a good strategy for Kamala are they what party are they Republican they're the Democratic Party Democratic so they have like a in my own theory I think maybe it was one of the strategy to do like that that Biden but they already decided like when it's closer to the campaign let's gonna withdraw your campaign Biden I mean replace your candidacy let's put Kamala and it will make um dramatic thing and it will increase the chance and it will be in the news and everyone will talk about it and it will become hype and whatsoever I don't know I don't mean to be rude, but none of that was accurate. In your opinion? In my opinion, yes. Okay, that was my opinion. That was my... Biden picked her um, to be his VP because I think he was trying to appeal to a broader base because he's an old white fellow, which tactically seems pretty reasonable in 2020, but created awkwardness in 2024 because... The way the funding works for the political parties in America, if he pulls out of the race too late, which he did, it essentially means that the money that was donated to the party is, or to the super PACs that support the party, that support the candidates who are running um, political action committees, I think it means, the money's already locked in to him and to, to her, to, to Biden and to Harris meaning that she was the only possible person. It wasn't like they... The goal was not to get Kamala Harris to be the candidate and they engineered the whole Biden being extremely old thing and then dropping out to kind of facilitate that. It's like that was the only option available to them. He screwed up by not recognising that he's very old. He made the mistake of... Um, reneging on what I think he said ages ago, years ago, where he said, I'm only going to be a one-term president. If he did that, and then he pulled out, it would have been great. They could have had any number of people, any number of Democratic candidates could have thrown their hat in the ring, and the best of them would have probably been good enough to beat Trump. But as it is, they're stuck with somebody that was one of the earliest people to pull out of the Democratic primaries in 2019, and is in this kind of awkward position like typically you'll go through the primary process that gives democratic legitimacy to the candidate well they didn't really have that um there's the primary process itself which means they're on the television all the time there's a whole bunch of debates you know it's constantly in the news like you know who these people are but it's just kind of like and then this vp who everyone because the vps are largely you know you're there to fill in for the most part uh role um this person who's been doing a basically an admin job for the past four years is now the main character and that's Kamala. That's the one. But to be fair to be fair I I can tell that it happens for a really good reason that Biden being like that currently like that. And Very then actually. No, like being forgetful and old and stuff. Anyways, mm. maybe that's the, the most proper way to say. And He's an aged fellow. And it, to be fair, it's a good, it's a good, you know, like every, everyone bashed their party and stuff, like blah, 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 blah. Why is it still running? Blah, blah, blah. And then because of that, it turned out okay. It was a good fight. Kamala was being endorsed and everything. 
is tighten the pull. Well, y yes, as in like the poles have narrowed, um, but I think a lot of that has to do with people that were people that were specifically upset about the whole Biden being ancient uh, thing who weren't going to vote have now decided, ah, oh, actually things are okay. Um, a lot of it, I think, is, you know, people that, that could see two, saw two bad options and then thought that they might just not vote for neither of them. Mm. Um, like, it's entirely possible that she'll win. I could be incorrect. But to, to go back to what you said earlier about her being a woman, and this is going to help. Yeah. I, I'm of the understanding that Biden did unexpectedly well in areas where there was a greater preponderance of white male voters who, despite being open to voting for him as a Democratic candidate, were not willing to vote for Barack Obama and were not willing to vote for Hillary Clinton. I imagine on the basis that neither of them were old white men, which gives us a sort of, um, you know, double effect of, well, this is a character who is neither a white person nor male, so all of these suburban uh, reluctant Democrats might just sit this one out. Mm. So that would imply that she's in a little bit of trouble in in those areas. Then there's the border issue where although she wasn't like given some sort of official role with funding and departmental staff and whatever else to fix the border situation, there was a lot of media discussion. Like she was given a specific job to do. She was labelled the border czar. The media on both sides seems to have rolled in with that. The White House didn't make a great effort to tell them not to call her that until it became a liability, which it now is. It's a bit too late because you've ingrained within all of these people's minds, okay, well, she's the border czar, so why is the border still a mess? So mm. I just mean to say that like, there's a, there's a range of issues upon which her campaign will probably hit a snag. And there's people who are being paid a tremendous amount of money who work for the GOP who are going to be, you know, they've got spreadsheets and they've got walls of data trying to, like, scientifically analyse, like, what is the best sequence of words we can get Donald Trump to say to cause her to fall in the polls. Like, there are people that are very smart and they're very... Um, they might not be... You might not enjoy these people. We might agree that these are, you know, questionable characters, but they're good at their job. And I just feel like... Do you think Trump is good at his job? Well, whether Trump's good at his job or not is secondary to the fact that he's got enough money to pay people that are good at their jobs, and their job is to get him elected. And how about him having so much charges? Well, uh, the 34 misdemeanors, I think it was. <sighs> Anyways, okay, time, right. I think time is up. It gets very interesting in there, and we are in 30, 13 minutes. I actually have so much questions. Oh well, just keep May. rolling and then edit the video into different segments. I don't want to do that. Make it a long format YouTube video instead. Oh, uh, okay. Let's just stop the, the rest in my mind and ask you later on because I have so much questions. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>